Remember men and women and children everywhere that the Lord will save and add to the church daily such as should be saved. Uh, if we have any particular prayer requests, uh, we can let it be known at this particular time. My, go ahead. Uh, amen. We'll pray for her. Uh, Sister Jackie. Touch the anointed. Yeah. Do it, Father. Father. <laughs> come before you, Lord. We just say thank you and praise you for your greatness and your grace, your mercy, your love, and your kindness. We thank you, Lord, for waking us up this morning and starting us on our way, for giving us a mind, Lord, to come into the house of the Lord, to be in your presence, to hear of your word. We thank you, Lord, for your anointing and the Holy Ghost and the power. We thank you for the blood of Jesus that cleanses us from all unrighteousness. Now, Lord, we pray, Lord, that you would bless each and every request that's been made known to you. Remember men and women and children everywhere. Lord, we pray that you would save and add to the church daily such as should be saved. We ask you, Lord, that you would bless our family members and our loved ones. Lord, remember Carlisha in a special way. And remember Evangelist Jackie's request in a special way. And Lord, we pray, Lord, that you would continue to bless us and build us up. Hallelujah on our most holy faith. That you would help us, Lord, to do the things that you're calling for in these last and evil days. And, Lord, we put our trust in thee, and we commit ourselves unto thee. And, Lord, that your most perfect will be done in Jesus' name. Remember, America and the country and the world, hallelujah, that's in turmoil. We pray, Lord, that you would uh, bless according to your will. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Praise him. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Amen. As we, uh, it's kind of, uh, the Lord has been dealing with my mind and in my spirit about um, us in our ways of continuing to walk with God, to yes. be in the continuation, to be led by the Spirit of God. Yes. Amen. And it's important uh, because He gives us, us of His Spirit. Uh, for a purpose and um, the Lord is just laying on my heart you know to kind of uh, reiterate to the people of God 
how important it is for us to be led by the Spirit of God. Amen. Amen. To be led by the Holy Ghost. And sometimes um, we have it in our own minds, you know, that, uh, how can you say this, Lord, help me. Uh, we can become common with the Holy Ghost, if you allow me to say it, be, because it dwells in us, and lives within us, and the Holy Ghost is always speaking to us. Uh, and sometimes we can be common with that and, and not give ourselves to it in taking heed, amen, to what the Spirit is saying to the church. As Jesus said in the book of Revelation, he that hath an ear, uh, let him what? Yes. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. The Spirit is speaking to us, to the church, to the ecclesia, those that have been called out, singled out, and, and we have been anointed, amen, anointed by God uh, to, to carry out his will. And, and um, the, 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 the implications of that is huge. It's humongous. Amen? It's not something to be taken lightly. Uh, when God gives you a treasure, he puts those treasures in us. Treasures in earthen vessels. Amen? The Holy Ghost is precious. Amen? Thank you, my God. I feel the Holy Ghost. Uh, it's precious. Amen? And, it, and, it's, and it's purposeful to lead us and to guide us into all truth. Sometimes we can come too complacent even with the word of God. Yeah. Amen. When we read it, uh, sometimes we just read it uh, and not take heed that it's the voice of God. It's the will of God. Uh, because we can come complacent and, come and make it become common. Amen. We hear scripture, the word of God. Sometimes we can look at it as, uh, well, that's just that's just Psalms 23. Uh, that's just that's just uh, 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 what is it? Luke chapter 16. You know what I mean? And uh, that's just that's just what we read. You know, uh, and, but it's more than that. Yeah. Amen. The, the God's words they are spirit and they are life. Yeah. Amen. Thank you, the house. Well, if you take heed to the word. Uh, you'd be able to cleanse your soul. Uh, even Jesus said, you are clean through the words uh, that I have spoken unto you. You're going to be clean tonight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey! Amen. Uh, Amen. You're going to be stronger tonight. Uh, when you leave this place, you're going to be stronger. Amen? In your spirit and in your soul, you're going to be stronger. Amen? Amen. Y'all believe that? Yes. Thank you, Lord. And, 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 and don't mess around and mix this word with some faith. Huh? Right. <laughs> huh? Say, I believe God. I believe huh? God. I, I trust God. <laughs> huh? Because then, then notice, all things become possible. Huh? Huh? If, if you just believe. Huh? Believe what? Believe the word. Huh? Believe the word. All things can become possible. Amen. Hallelujah. So, so, so the Lord is, is dwelling in my spirit, you know, to remind, to remind us that he has given us the Holy Ghost for a reason and for a purpose. Amen. Thank you, Lord, so that we can carry out the will of God and, 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 and give heed to it. Amen. Be led by it. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Uh, don't take it for granted. Uh, when the Holy Ghost say go right, don't go left. Uh, hey, when the Holy Ghost say stand still, uh, don't move. Stand still. Uh, when the Holy Ghost say duck, duck. <laughs> hey, hallelujah. You ain't got to worry about what's coming. Just duck. Uh, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Hallelujah. Because the Holy Ghost is real. Uh, uh, when they say when he, the Holy Ghost, has come. Gives it a personality. Uh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. He'll lead you and do what? Guide you to where? All truth. Amen. Don't we love truth tonight? Hallelujah. I love truth. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. That's, that's how we get purified. Amen. That's how we get cleansed and strengthened. Amen. That's how we get straightened out. Yeah. Uh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And 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 um, I want you to go with me over to the book of St. Luke. 
Amen. St. Luke chapter number four. Amen. Chapter number four. And I want the, the reader to begin reading, hallelujah, verse uh, number one, book of St. Luke. Amen. If we were to put a title, if we would be a title on this particular Bible study, it's a continuation of last week, but, but dealing with being led by the Spirit of God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. That's what we want it to be. Led by the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Luke uh, chapter 4, and let us begin reading at verse number 1. And Jesus, being full of the Holy Ghost, returned from Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness. All right. Read. Being 40 days tempted of the devil. Mm hmm. Uh -huh. And when they were in it, he afterwards hungered. Yes. Now, uh, our scripture that we read, very familiar passage of scripture, mm -hmm. talking about our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ after he was baptized, of John the Baptist, in, in the wilderness. Amen. And he received the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit descended upon him. Right. Thank you, Lord. And, um, and then, as we see here in Luke chapter 4, verse 1, uh, he was led of the Spirit into the wilderness for the purpose of being tempted of the devil. Amen? Thank you, Lord. Now, uh, this scripture should tell us something. Uh, and it should, it should help frame our mindset. Amen. When, when, when you receive the Holy Ghost, the Bible says ye shall receive power. Uh, after that, the Holy Ghost has what? Come upon you. Amen. Now, <coughs> power is needed for battle. Amen. People can buy guns not just to have them as showcases. They want some power. To be able to shoot somebody in case there's some danger. Amen? Amen. Thank you, Lord. And and uh, what 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 we have to do, I want you to hear me here, because what I wanna what I wanna say here, I don't think it, it it's not necessarily the mindset of all saints of God. I was gonna say Christians, but I'm gonna say saints of God, because a lot of people call themselves Christians. Amen? Thank you, Lord. But the saints of God should have a mindset. Yeah, you can come over here. Sit over here, brother. Sit over here. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, uh, saints of God, saints of God should view themselves as warriors. Amen? As a warrior. Thank you, Lord. And when, 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 when the Lord brought that to my attention, that helped clarify a lot of the way I think huh? and, and why I do certain things and why I am committed to him huh? because, because my mindset is a warrior type mindset. Yeah. Huh? Things happen, I want to fight. Uh, uh, things things go on. Now, when I say I want to fight, I ain't talking about wanting to fight, y'all. I'm talking about I'm talking about, I'm talking about in the spirit. Yeah. Uh, when 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 things <laughs> when th <laughs> I gotta clarify. <laughs> Thank you. When 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 I see disturbance, uh, when things don't go right, uh, when 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 I uh, y'all know how y'all say, oh, that's the devil. Uh, look at the devil. See, then, do you have, when you say that, do you have the mindset, uh-oh, I got to put up my dukes. Uh, now, now, it's on now. Uh, I got to fight. Uh, I got to fight. All my life, I had to fight. I want to fight. Uh, I want to put the enemy in his place. Uh, thank you. I love that song when they sing that song a few years back. I got the devil under my feet, uh, and the Holy Ghost is what? Keeping them down there. Yeah, because we should have the mindset 
that we're in a warfare, yeah. uh, that we're fighters, amen, and that, and that we're in a battle for good and evil, amen. If you look at uh, the book of Psalms and you look at the book of Proverbs, both of those two books, the first books of those two Bibles, it talks about darkness and light. It talks about fighting. Uh, it talks about overcoming evil. Amen? Thank you, Lord. And we have to have that mindset to overcome the evil that wages within and without. Amen? And, and conquer the enemy. Not allowing the enemy to get advantage over us. Amen? Amen? Because Amen. his mission is to kill, steal, and to what? To destroy. He's trying to destroy. Amen. Trying to take you out. Amen. Amen. And using all kind of uh, 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 wiles, trickery. Yeah. Amen. Deceiving. Amen. Thank you, Lord. So, so then, then we of ourselves, um, I feel the Holy Ghost up in here. We of ourselves, we can't take on the enemy. Huh? That's why we are anointed by the Spirit, Amen. by the Holy Ghost. Amen. That empowers us now yes, uh, to take on the enemy. Yes. Uh, we need a general, if you allow me to say it. And tonight I'm calling the, the general the Holy Ghost. Uh, thank you, Lord, to lead us and to guide us, to aid us, to comfort us. Uh, oh, hallelujah, to, to build us up. Uh, thank you, Lord, to, to tell us we need to go ahead, that we can make it. Uh, thank you, Lord, we can make it. We need a general to make intercession for us with groanings and moanings, hallelujah, that cannot be uttered. We need an advocate uh, to stand in our place, uh, uh, to, to, to petition for us. Uh, yeah. Give Frank another chance. Yeah. Uh, 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 give Frank another opportunity. Uh, uh, come on here. Uh, we need, we need, we need that. Uh, thank you, Lord. Uh, and when I've fallen by the wayside, I'm trying to do the best I can. I need the Spirit of the Lord to encourage me. Yes, uh, to tell me that it's going to be all right. Yes, uh, now my brother and my sister can tell me it's going to be all right, but but the Holy Ghost, uh, yes. it can be touched uh, with the feelings of my infirmities yes. and my weaknesses, yes. uh, and it knows my mind. Yes. It knows what's in my spirit. Yes. Uh, it is able to encourage me. Hallelujah. Uh, to yes. lead me and to guide me. Yes, Lord. Uh, yes, because, Lord. because, because not only am I determined to make this journey, the oh, Holy Lord. Ghost is determined uh, for, 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 for us to make this journey. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. my God. Come on, give God a praise. Yes, I don't believe. I don't believe. Yes. Hallelujah. That, that those that are given to the Spirit of God. And if I'm led by the Spirit of God, we'll fail. Yes. Uh, there's no failure in Him. Yes. Uh, do you believe that tonight? Hallelujah. I feel like yes. preaching right now. <laughs> uh, there's no failure uh, in Him. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. None whatsoever. Uh, and I can trust the Holy Ghost. Yes. Hallelujah. Uh, I can trust the Holy Ghost. Yes. Lord. Amen. I said I can trust the Holy Ghost. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Can you trust the Holy Ghost? Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. My God. My God. Hallelujah. But you have to have a warrior type mentality. Yes, Lord. Amen. Fight. Amen. Be a fighter. Mm -hmm. Not give in. Not give up. Not throw in the towel. No retreat, no backing up. Huh? Thank you, Lord. Uh, only, only time you should back up if you did wrong. Repent, turn. Yeah. Huh? But, but as far as taking territory, doing what God has said, huh? forging ahead, you should have that mindset. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Job had that mindset. Huh? Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, when he was uh, hit with all that in his physical body, 
Thank you, Lord. He didn't charge God foolish, did he? No. Huh? No. He said, Lord, I know this is you. Yeah. Huh? Huh? And I shall see you in this flesh. Yes, Lord. Huh? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Am I right? Amen. Hallelujah. God is on your side. Yeah. Yeah. Now, do you believe that? Yeah. You wouldn't be here tonight if you didn't believe that. God is on our side. God is with us. Huh? Thank you, Lord. He's there to aid us and to help us. Amen. Uh, but we must yield yeah. to his spirit. Uh, God has an order. Uh, and we must line up with the order of God. Yes. Am I right? Yes. Uh, come on, just give me one more praise. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Thank you, Lord. I, 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 I'm in love with, with, with the Spirit of God. Yeah. Do you love the Spirit of God? Do you love the Holy yes, Ghost? Lord. Thank you, Lord. I love, I, love, I, love, I love the way the, the Holy Ghost anoints me. Do you love the way the Holy Ghost anoints you? Uh, and then, you know, I love it so much, sometimes I just like to pick with it. Uh, just pick with the Holy Ghost. Just start saying, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, I, I just like to say, hallelujah, hallelujah. Sometimes I just like to walk around and just praise him just to get him in the room. Yes. Uh, hallelujah. Yes, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. By God. By God. I'm trying to calm down here. Thank you, Jesus. One a couple times. Uh, uh, Sister Jackie had walked in my office after I got through praying and and I didn't tell her until uh, I'm telling you now Sister Jackie you didn't know it. Thank you Lord but but that day that she walked in my office when I was praying it was a Sunday and, and I was praying and, and the Holy Ghost came in and I said look and, and I was thanking him for his presence uh, I was thanking him I said Lord I thank you for your presence and then the thought hit me, and he said, because this has happened before, you know, when, when, when people of God pray uh, and call on the Lord, the presence of the Lord will come in the room. Yeah. Well, he's already in the room. He just makes himself manifest. That's what we call Shekinah glory. Right. Uh, he just manifests in his presence. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Thank you, Lord. And, and sometimes when people walk in the room, uh, when his presence is here, they can feel it. Yeah. Amen. Uh, so that day that Sister Jackie walked in, right before she walked in, I said, Lord, I said, I was praying. I said, Lord, if somebody walked in here, they'll feel your presence. Uh, and then she walked in and felt his presence. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, that's, that's the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Uh, but but, now, but now, that wasn't necessarily done for her. That was done for me yeah. to encourage me. That the Spirit of the Lord is in this place. Uh, if you pray and seek God, He'll manifest this presence. Yes, Lord. Uh, thank you, Lord. We should want His presence. Yes, Lord. Uh, we should want the presence of God. Yes, Lord. We should want to dwell in the presence of God. Amen. Hallelujah, my brother. No, Oh, oh man, amen. Just saying, amen, amen. All right, now. Now, let's look at our scripture then again. Thank you, Jesus. My God. So now we all, we know we all warriors now, right? Now you, uh, we only got one yet. We, we, we warriors. Amen. We're fighters. Amen. There's something in you. Huh? <laughs> Y'all know what we say. Something down on inside of me is telling me to what? Go ahead. Go ahead. Sometimes we need to get back to sing them type of song. Uh, until, until some some breaking. <laughs> Something down inside of me is telling me to go ahead. Go ahead. Amen. Yes, sir. Thank you. You're a warrior. You're warrior. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. My brother. Yeah, hallelujah. The scripture just came to me on um, that the battle is not ours. That's right. That it's the Lord. It's the Lord. So, so, so. When we're confronted, if the battle is not ours, then we, we, we should seek him. Right. And what to do. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. My, my, my. I'm going to make it a stronger. <laughs> we, we must seek him. Okay. I know we should. Right. But we have should have it in our minds that I must. I, must. Amen. I got to. Yeah. Amen. Because if I don't, 
the enemy gonna get an advantage. Yeah. I can't. It's, we don't wrestle with flesh and blood, right. but against right. principalities, powers, spiritual wickedness, and where high, high places. places. Yeah, Amen. Sure. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So, so I can't do this on my own. Yeah. Huh? Thank you. But I'm gonna say it this way. I, I, when I say statements like that, I think about <laughs> I think about statements like I'm gonna say. If I could do it on my own, I wouldn't have came to the church. Because I, I, the reason why I came to the church because I was doing it on my own and I got beat up. Yeah. Uh, I, I almost wanted to kill myself. Well, I did. I wanted to commit suicide. He had me, he had me spinning around in circles. Yeah. Uh, think, think I was gonna kill myself. Oh my uh, thank you, Lord. I'm, I'm gonna tell on myself. I want. I was telling my, my my girlfriend, which is my wife now, kill me. <laughs> so so that's dumb. Now I want to make her a murderer. Come on here. Because <laughs> I was scared to kill myself. <laughs> My God. See, that, that's how, you know, that's how your mind messed up. Yeah. Trying to do it on your own. Yeah. Huh? But I went to a meeting one night. Yeah. Huh? And my heart wasn't right. That was something. Yeah. Huh? It got a hold of me. It got a hold of my mind. They got a hold of my spirit. Uh, all of them put me on the street called straight. Uh, and I, hey, I went down in Jesus' name. And was filled with the cousin of the Holy Ghost. Uh, baby, peace, love, and joy. Uh, and come on, shot. Hallelujah. Thank y'all, y'all, y'all know what I'm talking about. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. My God in heaven. My God. My God. My yes, Lord. Let's give the Lord one more praise. I'm telling you, Lord. But there's something about the Holy Ghost yes, that I cannot explain. Yeah, hallelujah. Huh? But how many you got? Yeah. I got it. Yeah. <laughs> I got it. Yeah. I got it. Hallelujah. Yeah, hallelujah. hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. I ain't talking about that popcorn type of holy ghost. Uh, that fake, that fake stuff. Uh, uh, I'm talking about that real showing up. Uh, that'll show up in a battle. That'll show up in a fight. Uh, that'll show up in my weeping and my tears. Uh, that'll show up in my heartache and my pain. Uh, hey, hallelujah. That'll show up in my joy. That'll show up in the preaching and the teaching. That'll show up in the assignment. When you complete and walk out your assignment, the Holy Ghost will show up. Uh, it'll destroy you. Uh, I'm talking about that Holy Ghost. That'll destroy you. Break down strongholds. Uh, come on here, somebody. Call it that. Come on, Hallelujah. Warriors. We are the lion. We are the tribe of Judah. Warriors. Hallelujah. My brother, I'm trying to move on, but Jesus. Okay, hold on. I'm sorry. My mind. Go ahead. Even when those thoughts came to you. Yes. That you didn't want to live. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Once you get the Holy Ghost. Wow. The enemy still come back and trick you on. Right, absolutely. You see how strong you is in your faith. Yes. And a lot of times we can call on Jesus for certain things. Yes. And then other things we try to fight the battle. Right. And we lose every lose time. Lose every time. So everything we do is dependent on Jesus. Yep. It's dependent on calling on his name. I don't care what you're going through in life. Right. We got to call on the general. That's it. Uh, That's it. And we have to believe that he answers prayer. Absolutely. Uh, Absolutely. That's what he's looking for. He's looking for us to, to trust in him. Yes. And believe that he's able to do whatever we need him to do. Absolutely. And when you came to Jesus, it was over. Over. You love life more than you wanted to die. That's it. Because you wanted to live with Jesus. Amen. Two things. Two things. 
Thank you, Lord. When, when, when I was going through that, before I got saved, the Holy Ghost was dealing with me then. Uh, I didn't know it uh, until I got in the scriptures and found it. Amen. The Holy Ghost deals with us. It leads us to repentance. Yes. Amen. So it was working. Uh, even in me. Uh, thank you, Lord. And then another thing he said, uh, that, that when, you, when you try to do it on your own, you lose. Yes. Yes. Amen. Every yes. time. Now that should tell us then, that's by design. Uh, God does not want you to succeed without him. Yes. Uh, uh, now, now think about that. If God does not want me to succeed without him, then I must get on his side to succeed every time. Yes. Uh, am I right? Uh, just think about it. Yes. Uh, I give you some scripture. God resists the proud. Yes. Uh, and he gives grace to the humble. <laughs> oh, yes, Lord. Now yes, humble Lord. yourself yes, Lord. beneath the mighty hand of God so that he can exalt you. Amen? So think about that. Don't go it on. Don't go it on your own. Yes, Lord. You'll lose 100% 100% of the time. Amen. Uh, why? Because then you'll say you can get the glory. Uh, yes. God wants the glory. Yes. You've been bought with a price. Yes. Uh, and you are not your own. You belong to him. He's the master. Let your light shine before men that they may see your good works and do what? Glorify the Father which is in heaven. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. All right, we're gonna we're gonna hit you two, brother, and then we're gonna move on. Jesus said, without me, you can do nothing. You can do nothing. He said that. That's what he said. Didn't he say that? Thank you, Jesus. My Lord. My brother? Yeah, I was, um, when you saying uh, seek God, and, you know, when it comes to battle, I was thinking about David uh, when he came back to Ziklag. Yes. And, and the whole city was burned. They took his wife, children, children everybody. Everything good you know, and stuff. Not, you know, if he didn't have a mindset, you know, the flesh, he wouldn't even have consulted God. Right. He would have reacted in the flesh. Yeah. Because they just took his whole, his family, everything. everything. Anger, he would have just took off. Right. But he saw God. Saw God. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And God told him to go. He shall recover all. David went, got so much stuff that, that they had more than what they uh, bargained for, if you allow me to say. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> and then you could tell the Spirit of God was upon David. Because as they were going, there were two tribes that were tired. Amen. That they said that we uh, uh, we need to rest, you know, and and so they they David allowed them to rest. Uh, then they went and gained the battle. And when David got all the goods and was going back, the other ten tribes said, "Hey, these brethren shouldn't get nothing because uh, they didn't go fight with us." But because the spirit of God was upon David. Yes. Uh, thank you, Lord. David said, hey, no, these brethren are just like us. Yes. As we're going to give them huh, as much as we get. Yes. Huh, because they are brothers. Yes. Huh, that's, that's what the Holy Ghost will make you do. Yes. It'll make you stand up for the weak. Yes. Huh, yes. It'll make you do right when other people are doing wrong. Yes. 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 He said, now, if they'd have went while they was weak, they'd have probably been a hindrance. <laughs> yes, Lord. Hallelujah. But, but God. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God. God. Thank you, Lord. All right. So let's go back to our base scripture here. Where are we at now? Uh, Luke chapter number four. Amen. And verse number one. What does it say? And Jesus being full of the Holy Ghost. Uh-huh. All right, now Jesus, the Bible says, you know, was what? Full of the Holy Ghost. 
Now, when you see that phrase, full of the Holy Ghost, uh, it, 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 it's, it's saying that he had the Holy Ghost and he was allowing the Holy Ghost to be in control. Amen. He wasn't trying to use his human spirit to be in control to gain victory over the enemy. Amen. Amen. You can't use your human spirit Amen. Uh, to gain control and victory over the enemy. It's impossible. Amen. For the Bible says the weapons of our warfare are what? Not hard, but mighty through to God to do the what? Pulling down, pulling down the stronghold. Amen. So, so you have to use the weapons that God has designed. For you to gain victory over the enemy and those weapons that you use must be empowered by the Holy Ghost. Amen. You can't do it on your own. Impossible. Amen. Not meant to do it on your own. Amen. Amen. You got to be led by the Spirit of God. Amen. Now notice this. Notice. Notice what he said. And Jesus being full of the Holy Ghost. Amen. How do you know that you're full of the Holy Ghost? Is, is when the Holy Ghost is in control. Yeah. Amen. Huh? Yeah. Uh, no more I, but the Christ that lives inside. Yes. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. My God. Y'all have experienced uh, me being full of the Holy Ghost anytime I, I, I sing and it sounds pretty to your ears. I mean, you, you know it's the Holy Ghost. Yeah, yeah. Uh, when, 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 when you can feel the anointing. Yeah. Uh, you know, old pastor full of the Holy Ghost now. Uh, something working in it. Yeah. Uh, it's working in it. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. It's, 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 yokes is being destroyed and broken. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's full of the Holy Ghost. Amen. I know, I know sometimes when I be preaching or teaching. And, and, and I zone out. Uh, and, and it's like, like the Holy Ghost take control. Amen. Uh, I love it. I'm addicted to that. <laughs> uh, and, I, and, I, and, I, and I know when you follow the Holy Ghost. Because you're not, you do things not of yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the Spirit of God is taking over. Yeah. The anointing is being made manifest. The secrets of hearts of, of men are being made known. Strength and power is coming from me. Yes, Lord. I'm full of the Holy Ghost. Yes, How you know you full of the Holy Ghost? When somebody step on your toe. Yeah. Uh, and, and you don't even tell them. You say, thank you, Jesus. Uh, come on here. Amen. Somebody hurt your little feelings. Yes, uh, thank you, Lord. And you, 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 you do what the Bible says. You turn the other cheek. You don't know, seek revenge. Uh, that's when you know you're full of the Holy Ghost. Right. When you are in obedience yeah. up to the Word of God. Yeah. Even though your mental faculty is saying something different. Yeah. Huh? But, but the Holy Ghost is saying what God says. Yeah. Uh, and then you do what God says. Yeah. Uh, even though people around you may call you a fool. Yeah. You yeah. dummy. Yeah. Huh? Uh, if, if that would have happened to me, I'd have did such and such. But yeah, but you're not full of the Holy Ghost. <laughs> <laughs> uh, come on, you somebody. Hey, come on, shut that out. When your enemy hunger, you turn around and feed. Yeah. When they're thirsty, you turn around and give them a drink. Yeah. Come on here, somebody. Yeah. Come on here, somebody. Yeah, yeah. Uh, when, when opportunity comes to for you to put your foot on your enemy yes. but you turn around and say uh, 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 blessed are the merciful yes. uh, for they shall obtain mercy uh, and you and you release them yes. you don't turn them in yes. you don't expose them yes. uh, uh, to, and, and, and you allow God uh, to work a work that's how you know you're full of the Holy Ghost Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Opposite of that, how do you know you're not full of the Holy Ghost? When you want to stab them in the back, you stab them. Yes. Uh, you talk about them. You gossip on them. Uh, hey, 
nothing when he say uh, uh, decent people and the Holy Ghost does make you a decent individual yes, does it? Yes, thank you Lord and then uh, how can I say this without, without sounding arrogant or anything like that but when you're really operating under the spirit of God uh, it, it puts you above the norm. Amen. Have you ever felt that way? That, that I'm a, uh, I don't want to say above the normal, but you know, you, you exceed, there you go. Thank you, Holy Ghost. You, you exceed the limit of what people expect. You operate in the spirit of excellence. Amen. That's what Daniel did. He operated in the spirit of excellence. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Doing another round. Yes. My God. Yeah. My God. The Lord say, Lord say, somebody go with you one mile, go with them two. You do extra. Amen. They take your coat, you give them your coat too. Here, take it. Too. Take that too. Huh? You follow? You go extra. Amen. It makes a difference. Amen. Amen. You don't just you don't just don't love people because they love you. <laughs> when you got the spirit of God yeah. being full of the Holy Ghost, you love your enemies. Yeah. You love the unlovable. Yeah. I heard a sermon. Uh, Bishop Copeland preached that. Uh, loving the unlovable. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I mean, and we were there at one time. Uh, we were without hope. And without God uh, in this world, but He loved us. Amen. You exceed. Amen. You excel. You just don't want to get a B. You want to get an A plus. Amen. Thank you. That's what's in you. Am I right? Thank you, Jesus. No, I, and you can also know that the Holy Ghost, you're full of the Holy Ghost when, when you see somebody that need help and you have compassion upon them. Amen? And to have compassion, if you study that word out, it means to see somebody in need and desire to help them. Amen? Without anything in return. Uh, I'm not looking for you to give me a pat on the back. I'm not looking for you to say thank you. I want to help you because it's the right thing to do. 
It's because God would want me to do that. Yes. And I want to please God. Yes. Amen? Yes. Um, I remember. I remember. I'm going to move on. I remember, you know, uh, when I first came to the church, I didn't really have too much. Uh, and, and uh, you know, I hear the saints say, go down to the Goodwill, get you some clothes. I ain't had no church stuff. They said, go down there at Salvation Army, get you some stuff. You know what I mean? Huh? Say by instead of get you some stuff, get you some clothes, get you some suits. Amen. <laughs> so I went down there and I found this beautiful London fall trench coat. Oh, I put that baby on, it fit like a glove. Like, yes! <laughs> it's me! Yes. Huh? Then I seen this homeless guy. Uh, and the Holy Ghost said, give him that coat. <laughs> Gave the brother the coat. And then the struggle and the fight. Uh, Brady, you know what I'm talking about? You got to fight with yourself. I had to fight. Uh, Holy Ghost beat me down. He won. <laughs> I gave the brother the coat. And I asked him about it. I said, man, a couple weeks ago, I mean, weeks ago, like I did it yesterday. <laughs> a couple of weeks later, I asked him, man, what's, that? what's up with that coat? Oh, man, I don't know what I did with that coat. <laughs> and he's like, oh, oh, that thing hurt me. Uh, uh, I passed the test. Even though it hurt me, he healed me. <laughs> Huh? Yeah. Now that's, that's a lesson. Even yeah. though folk may hurt you, yeah. the Holy Ghost will heal you. Yes, he will. Huh? Yeah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Yep. Amen. And I didn't, even, I didn't even treat the brother wrong. I didn't treat him bad. I ain't talking about him. Huh? Thank you, Lord. I still love him. That's the Holy Ghost. <laughs> I ain't had no grudge. You hear me, Pastor? I ain't had no grudge. I didn't pray, Lord, kill him. <laughs> uh, strike him. I didn't pray none of that. Yes. I didn't say, Lord, I'll never do this again. Wow. I didn't say none of that. Wow. Amen. Uh, that's full of the Holy Ghost. Yes. That's the Holy Ghost. Yes. All the human experience, nature, experiences, all those things that we would want to do as humans, uh, uh, none of that came to my mind. Huh? The Holy Ghost. Oh, yes. 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 And, and flunk. Well, that tells me, see, now you give me the faith. The test wasn't over when I gave him the coat. <laughs> hey! Huh? It was a two-part test. Yeah. Uh, my boo, I feel like prophesying. Some of us gonna have two part tests. Huh? Thank you, Lord. Huh? You gotta get ready. Huh? Thank you, Jesus. Huh? Pass one part, then pass the other. Huh? My God, hey, you just, that's a revelation. I just had that was a two part test. <laughs> huh? Wow. After. Huh? Uh, who was that? Jonah. He didn't pass the second part. Huh? He, he didn't want to go down to Nineveh, right? Didn't want to go down and preach, right? Huh? Got, he got, the, God sent the, the, the fish, swallowed him up. He repented, right? Huh? Went and preached. The Ninevites repented. But the second part, huh? he didn't pass. Huh? Because after he did that, he went uh, and sat upon a, a juniper tree and started to complain. Huh? My God. Huh? Well, when God brings you out of a test, don't start complaining. Huh? When God gives you victory, don't start complaining. Huh? Pass the second part. My Lord, my Lord. That's a whole Bible study. <laughs> my brother. But yeah. <laughs> hey, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That's the truth. 
that's the truth. That's it. Then let it go. I'm with you. <laughs> Absolutely. Right. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And let it go. You teaching tonight. Huh? Brother Davis? You got something in return. What's that? You got something better than the Lord and even more. Amen. Thank you. Come on, give the Lord a praise. Here's up. Obedience better than sacrifice. Amen. It's better to obey. Am I right? Hallelujah. And, and don't ask no questions. <laughs> Did you feel? My God. Hallelujah. You know, like um, God said, some plant and some water. Yes. But God gives the increase. Yes. You have to stay in our lane because sometimes that's all you're supposed to do is plant. That's it. You won't see nothing grow. Ah. Because your job is to plant. Ooh. You know why I say ooh on that? <laughs> because that, that kind of goes against his law. Uh, whatsoever man sow it, that's really also reap. You know, so if you plant, you have to expect a harvest. But so how do you how do you mean so that what you said? Saying, you yeah, know, say that. that. One plant, one water, uh, increase. increase. Yes. Yeah. Saying that uh, you could be praying for your loved one to be saved and you'll never see it. Oh, okay, that's true. That's true. Saying, Abraham, Abraham did that. He he had desired to to see the promised land, huh? And he traveled with his with his uh, his his uh, family, but he never saw it. Amen. But he had faith in it. Amen. Is that kind of like what you say? Huh? Oh, okay. All right. Well, try to get an understanding. All right. My brother? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. That's what I'm saying. Right. So just because I didn't see it grow, right. I didn't see my prayer answer, doesn't mean it wasn't answered. It was an answer. And so some mark, some plan, but God gives the increase. God gives the increase. There's places that I've planted and I've never seen the literal plant grow mm -hmm. because I gave that to someone else and it was growing in their house. Yeah. But spiritually, excuse me, sometimes, uh, like I say, sometimes we plant in places we don't realize. Mm. Yes. That's true. I think sometimes we don't really know that we're receiving blessings today. Mm -hmm. Seeds we planted generations ago, mm -hmm. 10 years ago. You might still be receiving from that call. Mm -hmm. You gave that another call. Right. 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 That's true. Yeah. That's true. Amen. Dick, is that what you were saying? That's it. Oh, we're trying to get to what you were saying. If that was what you were saying. You good? All right, go ahead. Bishop, the, the Lord laid on my heart to do something. Mm -hmm. And I hadn't done it. And I rehearsed what I wanted to say to satisfy myself tonight. You said, you do what I told you to do. Yes. And don't you say a word. Mm -hmm. Don't say nothing. He didn't tell nobody else to do it. He told me to do it. Right. True. True. And that's when I'm going to do it. True. You know, so it's, if I try to do it myself, I'm going to make a shift. Right. right. Every time. Right. I got to do what the Lord tells me to do. That's true. That's true. I was, I was, I was laboring in prayer and I wanted the situation to change. And I wanted the Lord to change the situation. And he spoke to me as clear as I'm speaking to you. And he says, I told you what to do right. to change the situation. And I'm not going to act until you do what I told you to do. Wow. And maybe get up. 
Huh? Yes. Thank you. Because it's true. We have we have responsibility. Yes. That's part of the leading of the Holy Ghost. Yes. Now see, now see, uh, the Holy Ghost say all cherries and pie and cream. Uh, sometimes it'll rebuke you. Huh? Am I right? Thank you, Lord. And thank God for the rebuking. Uh, yes. When I say rebuking, I'm talking about uh, letting you know. Yes. Amen. What you should do. Man you up or woman you up. Yes. Depending on your gender. <laughs> hey! I'm just going to say that God did that to Moses. What did he say? He going back to God about the problem. Uh-huh. God told him. I already told you what to do. Right. Why are you crying me? Get up. Right. Get up! Wow, so did. So did. Right. Told you what to do. Get up. Go do it. Get up. Amen. And 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 that's where when you obey, you receive your power. You receive an anointing. Amen. Come on. Amen. Uh, when you when you when you do, huh, you you receive something from God. Uh, the encouragement to get it done. He don't, he'll never leave thee. He'll never forsake thee. In fact, he'll go before you and prepare the way. And be there waiting for you when you get there. Uh, walking alongside you and behind you. Amen? Uh, just one more thing. Thank you, Jesus. I was, uh, when I, and I love going out to Albion doing the Bible studies out there. Uh, Saturday morning Bible study. And, uh, Every time, every time, uh, I, uh, you know, you have to go through uh, some checkpoints and whatever, and you have to go into the yard. And I know, you know, working in correctionals, you know, um, that uh, the, the inmates outnumber the guards. Uh, and it's going, especially in the state institution, you got all that ground. And if, and if uh, you know, one of them inmates want to get you, it's going to take them at least a few minutes to come, and anything can happen. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. But, but when I walk through the gate, every time, a shield, the Holy Ghost, come up on me. I feel it. Yeah. Uh, sometimes I walk through it, and, and I'm thinking about it, but I feel it. Come wow. And I'm like, whoa! Hallelujah. <laughs> and I walk, my walk gets different. Uh, then when I, when I move in there, I start, I start talking different. Yes. Uh, thank you, Lord, because, because he has anointed. Yes, sir. Uh, because I went. Yes, because I, because I, I stepped out. Yes. Amen. Not that I was scared or anything. It ain't even about that. Huh? Thank you, Lord. But it's, it's about the anointing that comes when you do the will of God. Uh, my brother, that empowers. Amen. That empowers. Amen. Thank you. And you know, I only have, if you allow me to say it this way, and this first time I'm, 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 I can't even talk, I'm stuttering. <laughs> this first time I'm admitting it, I only have one, one bad uh, session. Huh? And the and, uh, Lord wanted me to teach, but I decided, no, nah, I'm going to preach this. No anointing. Folks were just looking at me like I was dumb. Because uh, I wasn't doing what God said. It's like the Holy Ghost left the building. Left me on my own. With no band. Uh-huh. Right. Right. You get so far out there. <laughs> and the whole goal will leave you right out there. Right out there. Wow. <laughs> right. 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 trying to get back. You can't. You know what you got to do with them instances? Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> let the church stand. Right. Gotta let it go. 
You didn't blew it. My brother? Um, I believe our, our disobedience um, hinders uh, to think God's promises mm -hmm. to us. And we're yeah. not obedient to the Holy Ghost. Right. It hinders our, our promises. Yeah. Absolutely. 300%. Amen. Do we believe that? Yes, sir. Did y'all hear what he said? Yeah. Our disobedience to the Spirit of God, it hinders or stops our, our the promises of God mm -hmm. uh, from, from, from operating in our life. Because God's promises are released through our obedience. Yes. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That's huge. Mm -hmm. uh, you can look at uh, the book of, uh, I believe it's Genesis, uh, when they, or it's Deuteronomy, I think it's Deuteronomy 18, when they were up on the mountain. Uh, God gave them promises, and then on another mountain, he gave them uh, what would happen to them if they disobeyed. Uh, and it doesn't release the promises. Amen. Thank you. It's important. Amen. My sister. As you were talking, I was writing down, because this thought came to my mind, God's commandment demands our obedience. Hey! I like that. Right. Amen. We and, have to do what God says. Right. Do, uh, he's not going to bless us. Right. Like the Israelites, you know, when he brought them out of uh, right. Egypt, you know, he brought them out. The Bible says with a strong hand, but they got in that wilderness. They started complaining. God couldn't bless them. Right. They Amen. Complaining. They That's right. They didn't obey God. They didn't do it the way he said he'd do it. Right. Absolutely. And and y'all hear me for a minute. Uh, what she's saying is true. And, it, and God doesn't have it that way of him trying to be a tough guy, trying to be a show-off. It's just his way. His sovereign. He's sovereign. Yes. Amen. And you were created for his glory. Yes. Amen. God is faithful. Yes. Amen. And he wants to use us to show his faithfulness. Yes. Amen. And, and uh, uh, I know that this is just my mindset. I don't know how other people are, right? When, when someone asks me to do something, you know, I like to, I like to, in some instances, if it really matters to me, I like to know why. You know, not, not in the sense of being nosy, but if I had an explanation, if stuff makes sense to me, you know what I mean? It's easier to do it. Now, I'm not saying that we should ask God why. I'm not saying what you can, you know. And it's up to him to give you the answer. Amen. But, but my point is this. When God reveals himself to you. And, and you know his character. Amen. You know he's gracious. You know he's kind. You know he wants you to reflect his glory. You know God hates disobedience. Amen. But he rewards obedience. Amen? You follow what I'm saying? So, so why me knowing that about God, why should I try to go against the grain? Why should I kick against the prick? Huh? It's hard to kick against the prick. Huh? It won't work well for me. Amen? So why not line up with God? Uh, be on God's side. Amen? <laughs> Absolutely. Shut up, everybody. Yes. Right. Right. Oh, he's going to talk to you. Say, Frank. Frank. Huh? Huh? Am I right? Thank you, Jesus. That makes a difference. Brother David. Shut up! I was thinking on this too. Uh, back on what I said earlier. God's commandment always have a question mark at the end. Because he's not forcing us to do anything. Right. It's up to you to do it. Yes. So I thou shalt not steal. Right. God ain't gonna force me not to 
Right. It's up to me. Yes. But if I want to be blessed, I'm going to obey. I'm going to obey it. Not still. So all of his commandments have question marks. Yes. You can, find them. you can do it if you want to be blessed. If you don't want to be blessed, don't do it. Don't do it. Amen. And, and to piggyback, to come full circle then, uh, when we don't want to obey, the Holy Ghost is there to help us yes. to obey. Amen? Why? Because it'll go well with us. Huh? Because the Holy Ghost knows the mind of Christ. Amen? Uh, I need help. We need help. Amen? Uh, my brother and my brother. I know it. <laughs> Yes. Uh -huh. Thank you, Jesus. Tell you. Thank you. Amen. So, so yeah, it's not just always, it is all talking. Yeah, we have to keep this command. Go show yourself to the priest. Yeah. Obedience. Yeah. And we, amen. We got to follow both. Amen. We got to follow the commands. And, and, and whatever direction he gives us, we need to follow that too. Amen. We got to receive it. We got to do it. Amen? Hallelujah. To, be, to receive the benefit. Yes. To receive the blessing. Am I right? Because we know that's how God is. Amen? My children, um, sometimes when they were growing up, they know how I am. They hear me slam the door, come in the house. They scrambling around trying to clean up the house. Get this together, you know, because they because I'm gonna come in and fuss it. Yeah. Huh? Amen. They know. Yeah. Huh? They know. Right. Amen. Thank you, Lord. My brother. Um, I gave, gave a lady a ride today, and she was telling me about she said something happened in the church, and she she said she kind of didn't like it. So, you know, she said, I wasn't sure if I should say something to the pastor. Mm -hmm. And uh, but she said, week after week, that thing did not leave. Right. It was, it was building up. Yep. So she said it was after about four months went mm -hmm. by. And she said, I finally said something last Sunday. Mm -hmm. You know, so I told her, I said, when something is of God, when God is leading you to do something, it's, it's not going to leave you. Mm -hmm. that, when, when God wants you to do something, it, it's not going to leave you to you do it. Right. Well, now, um, he brings up a very good point. You know what I'm saying? Because God has a way that's written in the scriptures on how to settle disputes. Right? Until we follow the prescribed way God has said to settle disputes, disputes won't be settled. Amen? My brother here can offend me, right? Or I can offend him. Instead of me talking to him, straightening it out, I'm giving him a gift. I'm giving him a ride. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm doing it, I'm ignoring it. I'm trying to do it a different way. It'll always be there until we sit down and have that conversation. Yes. That's God's way. Yes. Amen. Don't go with it. That's powerful. That's it. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. And now she let that thing linger for four months. Huh? And it got worse. <laughs> huh? What does the scripture say about that? Don't give space 
to the devil. Uh, because that's what the devil does. He causes a little man. Uh, he, a little fox. Uh, he work on us. Am I right? So then, 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 see now y'all want me to get into psychology. <laughs> Maybe I should leave it alone. But, but now I gotta say uh, that, that, that the way our mind is made, uh, we look for things to, to, to uh, validate the way we already think. Y'all with me? Huh? To justify my thinking. Huh? I'm up there preaching, he looking ugly at me, right? And I said, see, I know he didn't like me. But, but you know, he probably had a bad case of gas. Huh? Huh? He could have been thinking about something else. Two number thing. Could be about me. But, but now because in my mind, I'm thinking, oh, Huh? Now he look ugly at me now. See, I told you. I told, I told you. <laughs> I told myself, right? Huh? Y'all know how I did. Uh, uh, I can say, uh, Mr. Quinn, I want to see you in my, in my office. Automatically, we think, oh, what I do now? I did something wrong. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Huh? That's the way we think. Yeah. And the enemy uses that against us. Oh, absolutely. Huh? And what it is. How many of you uh, uh, already thought about a situation that this is going to be bad? And then when you went into the situation, nothing like it. All that work, all that stress, huh? for nothing. <laughs> Smoke screen. Huh? That, that happens because, because when we, don't, we don't attack it the way. The scriptures tell us to attack it. Right. We don't can do it the way God has commanded. The way He has said it. Amen. We don't. We don't. We don't allow the Holy Ghost. How many times in that four months has that the Holy Ghost told her, "Well, this is your opportunity. You just wow. figure it out. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead, Dick. Go ahead, my brother." Totally agree with that. Huh? And then out of that 25, you got to plant good thoughts in order to have that 25%. You got to plant those good thoughts in your mind. Amen? I don't know why we're getting on that, but it's good to get on that. Amen? Uh, what's it? Whatsoever things are good, lovely, think on these things. Good report. Virtue and he prays. Think on these things. Amen. All right, my brother. I ain't get to my Bible stuff. <laughs> right. It's leading you for four months to straighten this out. You keep it personal. Wow. You're quenching the Holy Spirit. And then, uh, to your point, I don't know if you heard of her. Right? She uh, recently died, but Pastor Wanda Davis. When her husband did, Bishop Davis, he was pastoring a church that had quite a Thousand. And she said one Sunday morning she came in church and you know, she went to the and she sat there. And there was a woman in the church that, that people really didn't deal with that much. And she sat there in front of all people. She waved at her. And the woman wouldn't respond to her. And she sat in church and got a whole attitude for <laughs> After church, she went to her and told her off. You know, don't you never sit up there in this church and not speak back to me. I'm not speaking to you and got me looking stupid in front of all these people. And, and so the woman told her, First lady, I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean no harm. I couldn't see you. I broke my glass. I didn't see you waving at me. See? And she said she had to ask her to repent. She uh, told the woman off and wanted to see her. Yeah. <laughs> wow. She had the whole thing built up in her head. Right. The woman didn't like her, was treating her funny. Right. Her. I broke my glasses, couldn't see you. I just did get to church. Right. I wasn't trying to be funny. Wow. Ain't that something? Yeah. All right. Let's, let's look at our scripture then. 
Read verse one again. And Jesus being full of the Holy Ghost. All right, Jesus being full of the Holy Ghost. He returned from Jordan. All right, he returned from Jordan. And was led by the Spirit into the wilderness. All right, now he was led by the Spirit of God into where? The wilderness. The wilderness. Amen. What does the wilderness represent? Then we're gonna close out our Bible study. Tested. Unknown. Chaos. Amen. Tempting. Yes. Amen. Thank you. The scripture tells us that God doesn't tempt us with it. Am I right? Do we believe that? I believe that. Hey, why I believe it? Because the scripture says. <laughs> God doesn't tempt us with it. Amen. Uh, now the enemy. The enemy tempts us with evil. Amen? What evil? The evil within. That's his tactic, isn't it? Uh, the enemy, uh, uh, his imps, he knows what you like. Amen. Am I right? And, and all of us, all of us have a certain makeup. Amen? There's a certain pattern. Amen? Am I right? Thank you. So, so it's not hard for him to figure out what tempts us. Am I right? Thank you. And the purpose for the tempting is for you to be proven. Huh? Why God allows it. To see what is in your heart. Huh? To, for you to know. God already knows. Uh, to see whether or not you're going to obey him, to keep his commandments. To see whether or not you love him. Amen? Thank you, Lord. And, and, and also, too, so you can know what's in you. Yes. The power that dwells inside. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Amen? You got a dynamite in you. Huh? You got something in you. That will outlast anything that the enemy can bring your way. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Amen. Do y'all believe that? Amen. Huh? When Paul tapped into it, when he tapped into it, let's go over there and then we'll close it out. Romans chapter 8 and begin reading at verse 28. You know, I gotta start not carrying cash so I can put my offerings in. In. Thank you. I'll get you back. Oh, I got it. <laughs> Romans 8 28. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the according to his purpose. Now, when you give yourself over to the Holy Ghost, then you know that all things work together for your good. The Spirit of God speaks expressly to the church. Uh, and it will tell you that. Amen? Read. For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his Son, that he might be the firstborn among his brothers. Now all warfare that you encounter and that you are going through is to conform you into the image of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 That's why you go through what you go through. Huh? That's why you deal with what you deal with. That's why you have position of where you have position on. Amen. Amen. Says so Jackie, that's why that uh, person is messing with your money. Huh? Huh? Am I right? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Y'all with me tonight? All right, read. Moreover, when we did predestinate, then we also called. 
Yeah. You've been called and you've been justified, declared righteous by God. Huh? You are the righteousness of God. Amen? All right, read it. And when we justify, then we also glorify. Amen. Now, in the end, you're going to be glorified. Amen. Amen? Amen? I can't wait to receive my glorified body. I think about my glorified body. Uh, do you think about your glorified body? Uh, I think about that thing. I think about it. Uh, oh, go ahead, read. What shall we say to thee? Now notice, this is when Paul tapped into the spirit. He said, what shall we say to these things? These testing trials. Read. If God be for us, uh -huh. who can be against us? Now, now God is for us. Amen. Uh, and if God is for me, who then can be against me? Who are these uncircumcised Philistines uh, that's coming up against me? Huh? Read. He uh -huh. He delivered them up for us all. Read. Now I don't have to worry about any goodness coming from the Lord. He is going to freely give me everything I need. Yes. He's going to freely give you everything you need. Huh? It's not his program huh? for you to fail. Am I right? Huh? And God is not against you. God is for you. Huh? All of the, you remember right about it? All of the, if I it feels, am I right about it? Amen. Amen. All right, read Uh, now you are God's elect. Who is that can speak ill of you? Huh? Hallelujah. Read. It is God that justifies. Uh, it's God that declared you righteous. Uh, it's God, hallelujah, that declared you holy. Christ's blood was shed for you. Read. Who is he that condemns you? Now who is that can condemn you? Uh, in the work of the Lord. Get thee behind me, Satan. Am I right? A mindset of a warrior. Amen? Read. It is Christ that died. Yeah. Yea, rather than it's risen again. He has risen again. Read. Who is even at the right hand of God. Uh huh. Who also made an for us. Now notice, Christ is doing what? Yeah, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Uh, he's making an accession for us. You're not here of your own strength. Huh? Thank you, Lord. You're not here of your own power and of your own might. Amen. God has been good to you all down through the years. Huh? He's been good. Am I right? I read. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Now, when you fill in this Holy Ghost, this is the type of stuff you say. You say, who goes up and make me? Huh? From the love of Christ. Uh, you get your, you know, you get your hands in the back, you know, and your shoulders bucked out. Who gonna separate me? Huh? What's this test I'm going through? Uh, what is this? Huh? That's trying to take me out. Huh? Hallelujah. Who gonna separate? Me? Huh? Then you get a little bold with it. You get, a, you get a little boastful with it in Christ. Read. Tribulation. Tribulation. Or distress. Distress. Persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or soul. Read. Uh huh. Come on. Uh, soldiers die. Huh? Huh? The casualties of war. Huh? If you, if I die, let me die. Huh? In the army of the Lord. Am I right? Can't be afraid to take a hit. Yeah. Huh? Huh? A boxer that don't fear is afraid of getting punched, he ain't gonna win nothing. <laughs> huh? You gotta you gotta take a hit. Yeah. Huh? Come on, read. As it is written for thy sake, we are healed all the day long. All the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Come on. Nay, in all these things, yes. we are more than conquerors through him. Um, this is the mindset. Of a war. Amen. This is your mindset. This is his mindset. Let this mind be in you. Uh, 
Preacher, uh, uh, Pastor Gaines, he would often say, thank you, Lord, that, that, that when I get knocked down, watch out, devil, I'm coming back from this. Uh, I'm going to be stronger. I'm going to be better. You know, those kind of words excited me. Yeah. Uh, thank you, because I kept getting knocked down. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah, but watch out, I'm coming back. Yeah. Uh, I'm coming back strong. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Lord. Great. Great. Amen. Name all this stuff I'm more than This too shall pass. Amen. I'm being conformed and made in the image of Christ. That's why I'm going through what I'm going through. Amen. Hallelujah. No more I, but Christ lives with me. I got an assignment. I've been anointed. You got an assignment. You've been anointed. Yeah. Huh? And God is with you. Yeah. Huh? That's the mindset. Yes. Amen. You got to have that mindset. If you don't, the enemy will sniff it out. Huh? And, 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 and see your weakness. Then he'll attack. That's why his name is Diabolos, which means penetrate. Huh? He'll be there trying to penetrate your thoughts to get on in the inside. Once you find a crack, you'll spread himself out of here. Then uh, he'll call all the other roaches uh, to come and take up residence. Amen. The rats. Tell them, come on. Uh, there's an opening. Amen. All the flies. I'm trying to call them the Elzebub. Uh, the prince of the flies. Uh, how many of y'all like flies? I know my wife don't. She wants me to kill everyone that's coming out. <laughs> yeah. Huh? And that, that's the way we got to be, Mother Davis. We got to kill the enemy. Yeah. Huh? Everyone that comes in the yeah. 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 huh? Why? Because it's a detriment. Yeah. Right. Huh? It's trying to hinder my anointing. Yeah. Trying to take away my victory. Yeah. Huh? Come on here. Yeah. Uh, I'm about to let y'all go. But you know, I remember that song they were singing. Sunday they were singing one song. Uh, but it made me think about you know that 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 we 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 uh, 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 that God has been good to us all our life, uh, and it made me think about Lord, uh, I got too much invested in you, uh, and you got too much invested in me uh, for me to turn around and back up. Uh, uh, God has got too much. And you got too much invested in him uh, for you to turn around and back up. You've come too far by faith. Huh? Am I right? You're too low. Huh? Am I right? Uh, boy, go ahead, finish the week up. I got, you got, I got 30 seconds. For well, I am persuaded of that the death. Now, per be persuaded. Read. No life. No life. No angels. No principalities, no powers, no things present, no things to come. 
no things to come, no heart, to him the Holy Ghost now. Uh, he's anointed now. Uh, read it. No death, no any other creature. Amen. Give God a praise. Amen. Hallelujah. Had to expedite the service. Thank you, Lord. But we had some good conversation. Amen. Some good revelation. Amen. I thank God for all of them. I love all. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. Let's see now. He said, I love you too. I tell me y'all love you too. Oh, thank you. Take this off. I don't want everybody to see I'm a baby. Thank you, Jesus.